that cheese danishes. America's finest pastry. Mm. <laughs> well, I should just buy cheese next time. Ah, oh. dang, somebody must have called Harlito. Well, first things first, let's open that red one. Whoa there, tiger. You better not lay those cheesy pods on that box. Is this pre-recorded? Sure is pre-recorded. You're just that predictable. <laughs> 1983? Okay, no one should drink soda this old. Ray, we don't run a tight ship around here. We work on a ship? All that we ask is that you don't open that red box. All the other boxes in the man's nest of yours to open. Not the red one. We trust that you won't. I know. I'm just not built for the sea. Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. Sneaky, but good. Trying to give me a taste of my own medicine, I see, huh? Well, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Not on this big brain. He's leaving. I told you we should not have rented these robes. Oh, he'll be back. He's gonna open that red box, get a taste of his own medicine, realize how hypocritical he's been, and let us in that door. For sure. Yeah! Yes. Make his hassle, what's your hassle? Better you guys go. I could use some help with these blueprints. And that is my sushi. Oh, Schwaz, we are like three crises past the sushi thing. But now that we have the complete blueprints, we can finally figure out what the cell was trying to build. Dude, we could boom the cell. They're gone. We gotta live in the now. Right now, we're trying to get Ray to let us open that new door. <gasps> Don't go in there! Hey, that's the name of tonight's episode. Tonight's Genuine Moments episode, that is. Wait, Schwaz, you know what's through that door? Yes, but Ray put a tiny boomstay device on my heart, and if I tell you, I go boom. So tell us. No! Oh, Don't do so that, Schwaz! Okay, okay, too far. I acknowledge that. I'm not proud of it. Could you, like, write that down? We'll reach back. Uh, we gotta go. Hope Patrick's bye bye! bye. What is going on in that man's head? Oh, open it. He is so gonna open it. Any moment now, he's gonna bust that box wide open and get absolutely boofed in the face with Schwaz's gross cologne. Miles, you did fill the boxy boxy booth charge with Schwaz's gross cologne, right? From the shelf of gross stuff? I was going to, but I went to the ATM with Harlito, so Axe Chopper to do it. I almost did, but then I remember something a barista told me that made me mad, and I needed to sit with my feelings for a while, so I asked Bose to do it. Bose, please tell me you grabbed the right bottle off the shelf of gross stuff to fill the boxy boxy booth charge. I sure did. In fact, old Bozy did you one better. I grabbed every single bottle from the shelf of gross stuff and put them all inside the boxy boxy boop charge. Sweet Danish Jesus. Schwaz's gross cologne, Tears of the Jolly Beetle, oh. Miles' gross homemade hot sauce. Uh, not cool. Yeah, Jolly Beetle tears can take away Captain Man's indestructibility. No, I mean not cool because my sauce doesn't belong on the gross shelf. Dude, the flavors are not there. What? We'll I mean, argue about how under-seasoned Miles' right? sauce is later. Right now, we gotta stop Ray from... Yeah. Oh, my God, Ray, are you okay? Oh, it burns, it burns! Dude, we're so sorry. Oh, apology not accepted! What, 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 what's going on? Uh, we accidentally just pooped you with Jolly Beetle tears. What? They left the task up to me, sir. Big mistake on their part. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, there, there's an anecdote. The word is actually antidote. Uh, not the time! Oh. Oh. Is it bad? No, it looks cute, but where's the antidote? <laughs> You're gonna love this! You're gonna eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner! No, 